the number one thing that ChatGPT does when you receive text back from any prompt you do, do, it predicts based on a score mathematically through the vector analysis, vector embedding, vector databases, and that's what it serves up. So it transforms what we put in as text. It changes it to numbers. Once it changes it to numbers, it goes into this whole zero-sum mathematical analysis through the vector stuff. And it scores out based on how the tokens and the weight match up with, with what's there and what's been trained. And then it transforms it back and serves it back up as readable text to us. That's why if somebody asks me, talking one word, what does ChatGPT do? What does Google's Gemini do? What does Claude's um, Anthropics Claude do? What does Elon Musk XAI do? I would say in one word, predict. Well, how does it predict? Because everything that goes in, for the most part, is changed to a number. It's scored. It's weighed. It's a probability. It's statistics. It's all type of derivatives and deviations and normalizations. And the new way that ChatGPT is generating these images is through prediction. It's using a vector regression, vector and better regression, where it's predicting what the next pixel and the next resolution and the building blocks as it goes and then that's how that particular image is created. Because those are foundational, principle, and conceptual things. Because I understand that, I have a different appreciation, which comes out as a different use case, which comes out as a different, what? Workflow, which comes out as a different paradigm. And now... I can engage it different because I have more options other than did you hear it could do this and did you hear it could do that and did you hear it to do that? No, I can stand up my own server. That's why I say for me when I'm learning foundational, principle, and conceptual knowledge about new things, new skill sets, new domains, new, prof new professions are important to me.